Hello everyone, guess what time it is? Yep, it's calling for a D scale. And if you own one of these Keurig machines, you know, well, at least the newer ones, you know, it's gonna call for a D scale, maybe like every two to three months, if I remember correctly. So I'm gonna show you a cleaning hack for descaling that I use. So I have descaled the Keurig with, with the solution that they uh, recommend. But the second time what I did was I uh, used mom's old cleaning style with some vinegar and you could do the same. So the main trick here is what happened before, I tried to descale without using this and it did not work. And I think it's because the clever people at Keurig made it so it needs to be a 14 ounce bottle like this that is being used for cleaning. And the reason I say that is because I believe what, what we need to do is in the directions is um, you use one full bottle of cleaning solution and then you, you fill the bottle with just water and then you pour that into the tank also. So the machine is, I think, clever like that and it knows that it needs 28 ounces of, of solution. So I'm gonna use just this cleaning vinegar from Walmart. And if you look at the instructions, it says dilute half a cup to a gallon. So I'm going to put a very tiny bit in here and then use the rest water. You could add or subtract as much as you want. And for me. So I use a very tiny bit of cleaning vinegar. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to use vinegar. You can use whatever you use to clean or we usually use to clean, whatever's safe. So I'm gonna, as long as it's uh, 28 ounces. So I'm gonna go ahead and, now that we got this mix, let's go ahead and fill it into the tank. So I'm gonna add a little bit more vinegar to the second round because I didn't really shake it, shake it up the first time. So I wanna just kinda get things shucking up for the cleaning process. And just as a side note, the only thing that they use in here is like citric acid. So if you have citric acid and you know how to dilute it or whatever, that's all you need pretty much. A second. Now the rest of the process is pretty lengthy. And this is the part where you need the, the actual instructions on the bottle to clean, do the cycle properly. So the 28 ounces equates to about the six line on my machine. So here's the instructions after you add the water. So the first cycle is going to be is the K-cup, 12 ounces. Make sure there's nothing in there. All right, and then the next step after doing a 12 ounce brew on the pot side is we do a 12 cup brew on the carafe side, which is a little tricky because if you see, there's not enough water for that. So, but that's what it's calling for. After brewing the 12 cup brew, uh, the next step calls for uh, 
internal tank soak, which is for 30 minutes. So when the internal tank is soaking, you'll notice it's making these weird noises. So if you hear this, you know you've done the procedure or the steps correctly so far. All right, now for the final cleaning steps, all we have to do is turn on the... We're gonna fill it up to 12 cups or max. And then we're gonna brew a whole carafe. Then we're gonna do the procedure three more times for a total of four brews. So after you finish brewing four times, uh, the last step is gonna be to do the same thing, but with the cups, the Lakiri cup side. So since I'm using vinegar for, for my cleaning solution and a very light vinegar mix, I'm cutting down my brew cycles to two each. So I did the carafe two times and I'm gonna do this one two times. And again, to reset the D scale, you wanna push the eight and 10 button and hold it down. And that concludes the descaling hack. Thank you for watching.